a lot of people, especially low-income people, get a fairly sizable tax refund. So that is the one time of year when people can really stop, take a deep breath, and they actually have some money to think about. Hello, I'm Brenda Proctor, and I am a consumer and family economics specialist with University of Missouri Extension. So the first thing you need to think when you get any money in your hand is, okay, what am I going to pay myself out of this? I'm going to pay myself first, which is just really another way of saying I'm going to put some money in savings. You know, there's actually research that shows a $500 emergency fund is enough to keep most people out of trouble, um, you know, when something goes wrong that they haven't anticipated. Eating out is the biggest leakage from any family's budget. So if you, let's say one person in the family is spending $5 a day eating out, which is, you know, really not very much. If you just didn't do that for an entire year, you would have almost $2,000 right there. If it really is not that important to you that you eat out every day, take a good hard look at that because you might find a lot of savings there. It's just a good time of year, post-holiday, everybody's thinking about resolutions and getting organized and rearranging their life, so that's the best time of year to start thinking about saving.